Uh, we're talking with um, Richard Richardson. Richie, tell me, when you come in here, what does it do to you? Well, I'm, I'm really excited. Excited because I see this, this as one of the things that will help to restore Western cricket. One of the problems that we have had in the, in the West Indies is no real archives, no real history of West Indies cricket. And if we don't know our history, we can't really go forward as a people. The youngsters don't know our, our heroes of the past. And uh, um, to, to whoever put this together, I think congratulations. I know that. I think they've done a magnificent job, and, and I feel really proud as a West Indian. And I see, I feel like there's some hope again. You know, if we can really do things like this, every um, stadium, cricket stadium in the Caribbean should have a facility like this, where people can come and, and reflect on history, see where we came from. The youngsters can come in and, and be educated as to where, where we came from, where cricket is concerned. Also, it's a tourist attraction, and I'm sure. Um, you know, cricket fans from around the world will come here, they'll pay to come and just have a, a look around, take photographs and, you know, and, and to reminisce as well. So I think it's a, a really wonderful thing and I hope that the rest of the, the Caribbean territories can, can um, use this as, as an example. What does it do for you though, having been part of it, to come and see all of this? Oh, I mean, what, I mean you, you were part of it. What does it do to you? Well, certainly. I mean, I've been saddened, to be honest, because I just see our cricket dwindling. Mm -hmm. And I, and I knew that something like this, you know, was deeply um, needed. As a matter of fact, I recommended, um, before they completed the stadium in Antigua, I recommended to, to the authorities to do something like this. But obviously, as usual, the authorities never listen to cricketers because <laughs> you don't know anything else other than play cricket. You know, um, and I feel really good. I feel really good. And, and, I, and I think that this is going to help. Something like this will help to revive Western cricket. Because as I said before, you know, we need to be reminded of our, our icons, man. I mean, when you look around here, I mean, I, I, I got goose pimples when I saw some of the names. Yeah. Sobers, all, oh, Griffith, you know, uh, Lear Constantine. I mean, it's, it's just uh, it's what, what is needed. And, and, and also seeing the glint in the eyes of some of your former teammates who are here today, certainly seeing Ambi and Washi, you know, like children looking at some of these pictures. I mean, it, it really does yeah, something. Because obviously, it, 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 it brings back a lot of great memories. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, from time to time, I'm sure yeah, we're going to continue to come and visit because it, as it, it brings back some memories and um, we, we, you know, and it keeps us going, you know, and, and we just hope that, that youngsters in particular can come and really understand what we did, you know, what, what, what our, our, our great figures of the past have done for Western East cricket. And I think that will help to sort of like get them really in again and want to play cricket and want to be heroes as well. Thanks very much.